All right, let's bring in former mayor of New York City and former attorney for President Trump, also my mayor and America's mayor for that matter, Rudy Giuliani. Mr. Mayor, you know, well, the Wall Street Journal, they're giving home Trump a hard time. They actually did an editorial, again, owned by Rupert Murdoch, Fox, basically telling people, are you sure you really want to vote for the guy who just got, you know, had this whole issue with, with, the, with E. Jean Carroll? Your thoughts? Yeah, and in the in the editorial, they just about admit that they don't believe the case is true. Right, <laughs> right. The, the, One million percent. The, they they go through how they don't believe the case is true, and then they go, "Do you really want to vote for Trump with all this?" I, I'm sorry. Because he he has a lot of problems, problems created by Democrats who are trying to prevent him from fixing this country. I mean, the reality is, this is about the third or fourth time they've attempted to frame him. I mean, the, the idea that, that a Donald Trump, one of the best known people in New York, would go into Bergdorf's uh, 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 department store and go into a uh, dressing room and rape a woman is absurd. You, uh, the only rapist that would do that is an insane one. You're bound to be caught. Uh, Donald Trump at the time was one of the best known people in New York. The moment he walked into Bergdorf's, the chief uh, 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 person in Bergdorf's would be there, the manager, that he put his best salesperson on. It. Uh, he was a multimillionaire. They'd be all over him. And he's going to go into a small dressing room and attack a woman he doesn't even know, basically in the open. Yeah. Now, I went I, the other day and asked him, have they ever had a rape or a sexual uh, encounter of any kind in there. And they said, of course not. It's too wide open. Thirty. The woman that my, my uh, investigator, Ted, spoke to had been there for 32 years, and she had never heard of such a thing. Yeah, and not only that, it's an extre Goodman, extremely busy, extremely busy uh, store. It's not like some boutique store. It's a wildly popular store in Manhattan on Fifth Avenue. It's just insane, preposterous, as you say. Mr. Mayor, um, you know, when that verdict came down, you know, we watched, and I watched all the networks. I have TVs, and I watched all the networks. CNN was hitting Trump, obviously, MSNBC hitting Trump, but we rolled a little, uh, you know, video from Fox News who really kind of missed the point here, that he was actually not found liable for things like rape or libel, the big ones, and the small ones they nailed him for, dinged him for, but for some reason Fox made it seem just as bad as CNN and MSNBC did. Yeah, I, you know, Professor Dershowitz on your network made the point that I also made on my show, which is the verdict has a problem. It's kind of logically inconsistent. They found that they didn't believe her that there was a rape. Now, if they didn't believe her that there was a rape, uh, that's the only thing she alleged. She didn't allege anything else. Uh, I mean, the rest of it is against the weight of the evidence, which is a ground for appeal. Uh, also, uh, the judge allowed very prejudicial testimony to come in, that whole Billy Bush thing. Normally, in a trial, a judge will exclude evidence like that because it's, it's called prior consistent conduct. And it can be too prejudicial. That's when, it, that's when a, a, a judge cares about the rights of a defendant. Uh, so there's a chance. Remember, this is not going to a New York court. This is going to the federal court, the Second Circuit, where I was the U.S. attorney. I know it like the back of my hand. It's a good court. So he's got a chance. I, I wouldn't... Yeah. I, I, I can't I, imagine. But, but it's not, not a... It's not an appeal that you could just take for granted. He could win it on appeal. Yeah, they somewhere around nine percent of appeals actually are overturned. This may be one of those. The, the decisions are overturned. So uh, I, my, again, it's 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 less about. Um, tr I mean, it's insane. He'll never get a fair trial in New York. I, it, 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 personally, it looks like a, a bit of a win for him uh, from this perspective because you're never going to get a fair trial. It's a five million dollar judgment, and as you point out, the, the jury already said, well. It's not rape, but we're going to find Trump for saying it's not rape, and it, it doesn't make any sense. Fox should have had, had his back, though, and they didn't. I have a real problem with that. Final thought on that before we move on. Well, I think Fox is uh, involved in something that's really despicable with regard to, to, to Tucker. I, I've never seen uh, a, a, an employer 
try to destroy their employee the way they're trying to destroy him. And the man and the man is a bit of a national treasure. I mean, I thought the last couple of years, some of the stories he did, if we lived in a fair world, would, would have gotten thought surprises. I mean, they really were gutsy stories. It took a lot of work uh, against the grain, which is what we want our reporters to do. And uh, they're trying to, they're not just trying to fire him, they're trying to destroy him. Makes no, sense. makes no sense. Mr. Mayor, the other big story, uh, you know, today Comer said he's got he's got the goods. He's got the goods on the maybe on the big guy, definitely on the Biden family. You know, what, what are your thoughts on how this plays out? Will there, will, will there be a tie to Mr. 10 percent? He's got he's got the goods uh, uh, without any without any doubt. I know that because I have. <laughs> I got him sitting in my safe. Uh, all he did today is give you about 360-degree view. He gave you two uh, sort of examples, minor ones. The Romanian transaction, which is a, which is a, 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 a cut and dry, very easy money laundering case for which they should all go to jail, as well as use of influence. And then he gave you sort of a sense of what to the massive case, which is the enormous amount of money they got from our enemy China. We're talking about beyond 30 million dollars. Uh, that went to uh, various members of the Biden crime family, uh, laundered the way organized criminals, terrorists, and criminals in general uh, organize their money. Yeah. But Mr. Not Mayor, Mr. Mayor, but 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 remember when remember when Biden said this? Listen, my son has not made money in terms of this thing about uh, what are you talking about China. I have not had it. The only guy who made money from China is this guy. Whoa, what about that, sir? Why? I mean, the, the bank records, um, all you have to do is look at this 38-page uh, uh, report, and the bank records are right there. His son made millions from China, millions, from paid to him by people he described as the top spy chief in red China, one of the most influential, richest men in China very high up in the Chinese Communist Party. Who knows how many Americans this guy has had killed in his intelligence work. <laughs> the people he was working with were members of high-level intelligence in China. They were uh, front, they were front. Uh, CEFC, the company where he got, oh gosh, at least 20 million, is a front to, 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 to basically to uh, uh, bring in yeah. People that can cooperate with China yeah. to, to yeah. compromise America. And, 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 yet, and yet the, the career politician says, I want to be president on that stage. And he is president. And he lied through his teeth once again, a career, career liar. Sir, and they, I don't have to tell this, Mr. Federal Prosecutor, former federal prosecutor. You lean on the people you got in the crosshairs, and sometimes they roll on the big guy. And we'll find out. Mr. Rudy Giuliani, Mr. Mayor, thank you for joining us.